that's when you took over the reins and, and ran with it from there. I remember the uh, visit to the Murrieta Valley Golf Range, which was interesting because they had a, a gang they called the Over 70 Gang. There were about five guys that worked there that were all in their 70s. Mm -hmm. And uh, all they could talk about was Ricky this, Ricky that, everything. It was nonstop. But they didn't talk about your golf. They were talking about you as a person, which I, I thought was very telling to me. So they, they loved the way you handled yourself. You remember all that experience? I mean, that must have been a great experience to grow up on a driving range. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, I would get dropped off there after school or get dropped off on the weekends and go hiking through the day. Um, and yeah, for the most part, the, the standard range crew um, were, were not necessarily kids just running around. It was, you know, local, retired, older guys uh, hanging around the range. And then as well as uh, Lisa, she was like the, the token lady of the crew um, that kind of kept everything in check. but. Uh, that was that was my second home or my home away from home, and um, you know I spent a lot of a lot of time around those those people. Um, they used to have you know, putting tournaments and chipping tournaments, and um, that was where I always wanted to be. And we're actually in the process right now of um, kind of buying Bill out um, of the range. He's been in, you know wanting to kind of step aside and move on um, to kind of retirement um, so we're going to ultimately take over the range and, and keep it alive so it, it was a special place for me like i said i spent a lot of time there you got to see the, the crew that uh, i would say for the most part most of them are still around and, and hanging at the range um, you know we've lost a couple there being that uh, they were no uh, young spring chickens but uh, some good people but yeah we're we're like I said, in the process of, of taking that over and um, just to keep it the way it, it's always been. I don't want it to change. I want that to, to be a place where, uh, you know, the, the next Ricky can show up and, and hang out.